Welcome back, Future Medicos. MCC has released the round two results for All India Counseling. In this video, we are going to look at the cutoff marks for getting into deemed universities as per round two counseling. We will look at what is the All India rank. We will look at what is the need score. We will also try to compare between round one cutoff and round two cutoff. And we will see whether the cutoff has increased or decreased in round two. We will also look at whether all the seats has been allotted or whether there are seats vacant. And if seats are vacant, in which deemed university seats are still vacant, right? We are going to look at all these details in this video. If you are interested, stay with the video and see the details. Okay, now you are looking at the cutoff marks for each deemed university. I have shown the round one rank, round one score, as well as round two rank and round two score. So you can see that the first college, I have actually uh, arranged it in descending order of score uh, based on round two cutoff. Round two, I have put the cutoff, highest cutoff in round two at the top and then slowly I have reduced the colleges. So the first college based on the round two cutoff is Symbiosis Medical College for Women, uh, where it closed at 581 marks. Now this is a slight surprise because in round one, the closing score was only 549. So nearly 32 marks has increased in round two. And in terms of All India rank, in round one, it closed at all India rank 64,500, whereas in round two, it has closed at 41,000 All India rank. So surprise, and please take note that uh, at the end, I have also shown an arrow. You can see an arrow here at the end. Uh, if you see a green arrow upwards, that means the rank has gone up. The score has gone up. The cutoff has gone up. We see a red down arrow, which means the cutoff has come down in the colleges. So typically, if you see almost like uh, 25 colleges, the cutoff has gone up. That is almost half of the deemed universities. The cutoff has gone up in round two. Now we will see each college and then see uh, how much is the cutoff. So the second college is KMC Manipal. KMC Manipal, of course, uh, closed at 574 marks. Once again, the cutoff has increased by about seven marks. And at number three, we have Hamdad Institute, where the cutoff has slightly come down to 556. About four marks it has dropped in. Hamdat. KMC Mangalore also the cutoff has gone up to 545. Manipal Tata Medical College, the cutoff is more or less the same, 507 marks. But in terms of rank, it's slightly dropped, very small drop. Amrita Faridabad, it has gone up by nearly 70 marks. From 421, it has gone up to 491. It's a very high uh, cutoff for Amrita Faridabad, which is a new medical college, but it has a very high cutoff in the first year itself. Then we have Rural Medical College, PIMS. Loni. It has also gone up by 6 marks and closed at 464. JLN Balagavi also gone up by nearly 19 marks and closed at 456. JSS Mysore gone up by 6 marks and closed at 447. Amrita Kochi also has gone up by nearly 26 marks and closed at 440 marks in round 2. MGM Navi Mumbai, um, it also has gone up drastically by uh, nearly like 42 marks it has gone up and closed at 439. MGM Aurangabad, again it has gone up and closed at 428. KS Hegde Mangaluru, um, the cutoff wise in terms of need score, it's the same 404. But in terms of need rank, it has slightly dropped, very slight drop. Then Ramachandra Medical College, the cutoff has gone up to 391. MGM Washi, which is a new medical college starting this year. Again, this college the cutoff has increased by nearly 34 marks in round two and it has closed at 388. At number 16, we have a JG Triple MC Medical College from Karnataka. The cutoff has slightly dropped and closed at 388. Kalinga Institute, um, it's almost, the cutoff is more or less the same, about three marks it has increased. Uh, IMS Bhubaneswar, again, the cutoff has gone up and closed at 372. SDU Medical College, Kolar, slight drop in cutoff. It has dropped by three marks. Uh, SBKS um, Medical College in uh, Gujarat, the cutoff has gone up. Even in this college, the cutoff has gone up to 359. Uh, D.Y. Patil, Kolapur, the cutoff has gone up and closed at 356. Uh, BVDU, Pune, uh, again, eight marks increased and closed at 353. BLDE, Bijapur, closed at 349 marks. Again, an increase from round one. MM Institute, Mullana, um, there is a drop of eight marks and closed at 321. Siddhartha Tumkur has gone up to 308 marks. Krishna Institute, Karat, the cutoff has gone up by 25 marks and closed at 305. Yenipoya Medical College in Karnataka has closed at 303. 
This is one college where the cutoff has significantly dropped by nearly 23 marks, right? Most of the colleges we have seen, the cutoff has gone up, but this is one college where the cutoff is reasonably come down about 23 marks. Then BV deemed university Sangli closed at 282. Sri Lalitambigai Medical College, the cutoff has shot up from 163 to 276. Nearly what, 113 marks it has increased, okay? Lalitambigai may be attractive because I think the fee structure is not very high compared to a lot of other Tamil Nadu deemed universities. Probably that may be the attraction and it has gone up by nearly 113 marks. Rajarajeshwari Medical College in Bangalore, it has come down from 273 to 255 marks. At number 31, we have JLN Varda. It has closed at 244 marks. Datta Mega Nagpur has closed at 238. DY Patil Navi Mumbai has closed at 235, a drop of about 10 marks. Siddhartha T. Begur closed at 234. Savita Chennai closed at 234. And below this, most of the colleges, the cutoff has dropped. Uh, D.Y. Patil Pune has dropped from 251 to 232. Uh, SRM Medical College Chennai has closed at 178 marks. Uh, Santosh Medical College Ghaziabad closed at 168. Chetinad Medical College in Chennai closed at 128. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi Pondicherry closed at 126. Now these 40 medical colleges which we have seen so far, all the seats that were offered under management quota that has been allotted. 100% seats has been allotted. I'm not talking about the joining, I'm talking about the allotment. 100% seats are allotted. Whether all the candidates will join, I don't think so. There will be vacancies. But as of now, the 40 colleges which we discussed, all the seats has been allotted under management quota. I'm not talking about NRI quota, I'm only talking about the management quota. The colleges below this, from 41 to 50, there are vacancies. 100% seats are not allotted. There are not enough candidates to take seat in these medical colleges. Okay. So don't look at the round two score um, because uh, not all seats were allotted. Even someone with just pass mark, if they have applied, they would have got a seat. Right. So what are those colleges? ACS Chennai, Lakshmi Narayana Puducherry, Geetha Mishaka Patnam, Vinayaka Mission Salem, Wales Medical College, Vinayaka Mission Karekal. Satya Sai Medical College, Arubadai Vidu, uh, Bharat Medical College, Sri Balaji Medical College, all these colleges did not get all the 100% seats allotted. So this score does not matter because anyone would have got a seat. Even if you have just pass mark like 107, you would have got a seat. And then last college, Meenakshi Medical College, still it has not got approval for round one. It did not get approval. And round two also, it was not included. Let's wait and see whether Minakshi Medical College makes it to MCC round three. We don't know as of now. Let's wait and see. So that's the information I wanted to share. Once again, it was a slightly different kind of trend this year. Round two, the cutoff has gone up in almost 50% of the colleges. The other 50%, the cutoff has come down. But 50% of the colleges, cutoff has gone up. Round three, what will happen? We don't know. We have to wait and see. Uh, but... Uh, if, if you are interested, if you have got a seat, my advice, take the seat and then try to upgrade. Don't wait for round three because we don't know what could happen in round three. Right. I hope this information is useful. Thank you. Bye bye.